So today I wanted to introduce you guys, if you haven't already, if you don't already own this knife or haven't used it before, my personal favorite EDC knife. For anyone who doesn't know, EDC just means everyday carry. A knife you use, well, for everyday purposes. So this is the Ruko 0029, made of 440A stainless. Now, I'm not a big fan of stainless. I think if you're going to go with a knife, you should always go with carbon. But for a folding pocket knife like this one, for $30, because it is a budget blade, it's pretty good. Plus, it's corrosion resistant, so can't argue with that, seeing as I've had nothing but good things to say about this thing so far. So, let's talk about the specs real quick. As I mentioned just a couple minutes ago, or seconds, I guess, it is 440A stainless, so corrosion resistant, which is a good thing. Not great for big knives, though. If you see, like, a, a, a Bowie knife or a machete made of stainless, you might want to stay away from that. The handle, if you can see the... Hang on. There. You can see the beautiful handle scales there. They're made of packa wood. I don't know a lot about packa wood. My sister is uh, a little more inclined with uh, wood terminology and all that. She is in the uh, construction business. She works for a company that, well, they, they make occasionally custom orders for like furniture and stuff, which is pretty cool. She's doing what she likes, and that's good, obviously. <laughs> and as you can see on the blade there, it does have ambidextrous um, thumb studs. I've noticed some knives don't have ambidextrous thumb studs, which is a little irritating. I'm not left-handed, but for those of uh, for those of us who are, I say for those of us like I am a lefty. Um, you know, it's just it's nice to have that option, especially if you open it. If you can see that, probably not, with your middle finger, and then you can finish. It's a lot. Hang on, we do it like this. There, that's fairly quick. It doesn't flick open very nicely. It's you gotta really flick it once you get it open, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. So the, the thumb studs I really like about this knife in particular because you can see they're not terribly thick or tall thumb studs, so they don't stick out a whole lot past the uh, handle, which I have had in the past, and I gotta say, I don't like it when they do. You can feel them rubbing in your pockets, and they're just, it's unnecessary. These ones are nice because there's just enough material, if we hold it like that maybe? just enough material that your thumb catches the thumb stud and you can open it with one hand. You can also open it um, with your, hang on, let me demonstrate in a more clear manner. Holding it something like this, you push with your middle finger like that and then use your thumb to just... I like the clicking it makes too. It's not an important thing, but I think it's a very nice noise. Okay, so more about the handle. Um, there's not a lot more to say about it. As you can see, it is a liner lock system. So you push on this little piece of metal, which you can see kind of sticks up here. You push on, or I guess pull from this angle, and it just closes. Very simple, very straightforward, but with this knife being as solidly built as it is, this is, I mean, you're not at a risk of it breaking. Unless you, like, throw it. I have no doubt that if I throw this thing, it might break, because it's not meant to stand up to that. So very simple uh, lock system. The blade length is three and a quarter inches, or 8.25 centimeters apparently. The closed length is four and a half inches, or 11.43 centimeters. I like it when people include inches and centimeters because there are still those of us like me who use the imperial system. Although that would mostly be because of my dad. He's stubborn and doesn't want to switch to the metric system. He says it makes no sense, but honestly, I think it makes more sense than the imperial system. He disagrees. I think they both have their purposes. I mean, imperial system just sounds more sexy, like an 8-inch howitzer. I don't know how many centimeters that would be, but like, say a 30-centimeter howitzer. It just doesn't sound as nice. So, pros of this thing. Well, corrosion resistant. Pretty good edge retention. Um, did uh, some carving with it myself when I was trying to make my own tobacco pipe. Didn't work. I apparently did not have all the tools I need or the experience to just carve it. But it held an edge decently well. I mean, pretty good for a $30 budget knife. My sister also um, carved some chopsticks. Well, they were already like chopstick shaped. She just kind of, you know, smoothed them out a little bit with a knife. This knife. And it held an edge pretty well, again. Uh, those were cherry pieces, I think. Yeah, so, I don't know, like, again, I don't know a lot about wood. Is cherry considered a super hard wood? I know that if this thing was carving oak, then that's a lot more impressive than balsa wood, because balsa wood's like the paper of, of woods. So it's not super impressive to do that. 
but um, it's also really solidly built. Nothing has come loose except for the handle scales, just a tiny bit. Like, you won't even be able to see that on camera if I just... Yeah, you can't see that. So it's tiny little minuscule problem that can definitely be fixed if you have the proper Allen keys, or one Allen key that fits both, because they're both the same size. And the blade, I've noticed this in a lot of other knives, this is solid, like, I don't think I could break this if I was trying. I mean, if I was really trying, I could break just about any knife I have, but just with my hands, this blade is in place, it is staying there, and it's... <laughs> I can't move it. Blade centering on the knife, uh, as you can see, it's not, as you might be able to see, it's not completely or perfectly centered. It was when I got it. I've decided to carry coins, if I have any, and my knife in a different pocket, because what happens is coins get wedged in between the liner and the blade and, like, push it to the side, which is how that happened for this knife. So when I got it, the blade centering was really good. Now, as for the belt clip, which you can see right there, it is a little wide, but that's probably my fault. I had it in my pocket, it was resting like that on my, uh, the outside of my pocket, so that way people can see that I have it. I think that's a law in Canada, you have to have some part of it exposed to make it known that you're carrying a knife, if you want to carry one. And somehow a seat belt got wedged in between here and my pocket, so when I went to get out of a car, it just pulled the thing open like that, which wasn't a big deal. I managed to fix it a little bit. I want to take this off and bend it back into shape. I just don't have the Allen keys I need. So that's not the fault of the manufacturers. I've heard good things about Ruko. I've only had good experiences with them. I have another knife of theirs. Um, I don't remember what that was called. It's a, kind of a tactical knife. I didn't buy it because it's black and sleek and, you know, looks scary. I bought it because I needed a solid fixed blade knife that can hack pieces of wood, and it does that pretty well. I'll do a review on that at some point as well because it's a decent knife. I paid, like, 50 bucks for it. When it comes to folding knives, my minimum that I'll pay is around 30 and for fixed blades, my minimum is around 50 And for machetes, it's just kind of probably around 70 because if you buy a $20 machete, what are you really paying for? You're paying for something that's going to break if you use it too hard, which, admittedly, anything will break if you use it too hard, but specifically, it's just not a great idea to buy cheap machetes like that. Make sure if you are going to get into knives and you want a good machete or something like that, you know some good brands. I've never had any issues with SOG or SOG. I don't know if it's a name or an acronym, so I'm just going to call them SOG because it's easier. I had their fielder, uh, two of them actually. One was a Christmas present from a girlfriend with my name, my last name, engraved on one side of the blade and a heart on the other. Really damn good knife. It was the, uh, there are two versions, or six versions, I guess. Um, let's just call them version A and B. Version A is with the steel and wood handle scales, and it's got a small version, a medium version, standard EDC size, and then a larger version. And then category B with its own sub uh, with its own subcategories is like it's not carbon fiber. I think it's Micarta is the handle scales steel and Micarta. I personally like the wood one better. It looks really good. I also got I think it was a stone wash finish on mine. It was really good. So I bought this thing on my way to work, and I gotta say it opens boxes like well, <laughs> like a knife because that's what it is. That's what I use it for, and it's just overall a damn good knife. So if you need one. I would recommend this thing, or look into other Ruko knives, because it's pretty good. I've never had any bad experiences with them. I can't really speak negatively of their products so far. I've only owned two, but, you know, they've been good products so far. They've definitely left a good first impression on me. So I'll try to find the link to this on Amazon. I don't know if it's on Amazon, but I definitely have the link to the Ruko website with this knife in the description below, in case you want to check it out for yourself. Um, retail price on the website was 31 US dollars. I bought it for around 30 Canadian um, in store. I didn't have the, I didn't keep the box. I bought it and thought, oh, cool, this is a knife. Throw out the box. I don't need it. That was actually before I even started making videos. It's only been a few weeks since I started, but we'll get to that. Anyway, I guess that's all for now. I'll have to figure out how my outros are going to go from now on because this just gets all rambly and weird, and I really don't know where I'm supposed to go with this. So, until next time then, have a good one.